Hi guys, transferring information via target disk mode. Um, I just shot a little video on a, in a, on a small cell phone. What I forgot to mention though is how to get to the target uh, disk option. So I'm going to show you that right now. All right, target disk mode. The question is how to get into it. This computer here, we want to shut it down and bring it into target disk mode so it can be used as a hard disk from the other computer. And then the other computer will have full access to this computer uh, and can restore data from it. Go to the Apple menu, click System Preferences. System Preferences, look for Start Up Disk. Click Start Up Disk. Here you have this button, Target Disk Mode. Now, click on Target Disk Mode. To put the computer in target disk mode, you simply restart the machine. This machine will then come up with a Firewire symbol, like uh, shown in the following video. All right, so what we'll do is a setup of a brand new MacBook Pro. We have the old machine here that we started in target disk mode, and we're going to transfer the information over from this computer, the old one, to the new machine. Here, uh, what I can select is, um, when it asks me, would you like to transfer your information, we're going to choose from another Mac, the top choice, and then we'll do that. What it tells me here is that your Mac is running on battery power. It wants me to connect it. At this time, I'm going to check how much juice I have left. Um, you should always be connected to a power source, but we're uh, good here. We're about 90% full, but we'll charge here, so just in case. Um, and then you hit the continue button. And we're waiting for the old Mac to restart. So it needs us to re redo that again. We're going to restart it. There we go. And this is a very simple way of transferring um, files. We're not going to transfer any large files at this point, just the user uh, data such as mail settings and calendar settings, account settings, so we don't have to create two accounts and then delete one. Um, you want to restart holding down the T key because we're doing this in target disk mode. Here we go. Yeah, a little side note here, you can do this also by holding down the T key while starting up. I showed you the other way from the system menu. So there's two ways of doing it. Continue button and it's looking at the information. It has to calculate which information is on the old machine that is sitting right there. This drive is 99% full. We got three gigabytes left over there. Um, so the drive is going to be very slowly responding and we're only getting this information right now. Um, we're not going to transfer any applications, we're not going to transfer any settings, and we're not going to try to transfer any other files either. We're just going to look at the user files. So if we, we would just click on those, this user here, just a user, and we could eliminate all documents, movies, and so forth. All we're going to do is recreate the same ID, the same account name, and bring over the mail settings and um, calendar settings, iTunes based settings, and those things. So even if you don't want to transfer any actual data, you can just get the same account framework over. So that, that's a good idea. Um, you open a, that little triangle, and now you see exactly what is what. Right. And we see the desktop, we see the documents, the Dropbox, the movies, and so forth. So um, I won't be transferring uh, anything else at this point. Yeah. We, can, we can do that later, uh, the documents and so forth. So we just are going to um, basically deselect the desktop, the documents, the Dropbox, the movies, music, pictures, uh, public. Public is very small. Um, sites and all other files and folders, and we are just are going to create uh, this user. We create, so basically reporting the user from here to there, and we get all the framework benefits from it. Saves us, uh, saves us some work um, and time. And it still shows me that it's going to be 11.8 gigabytes. So it's still no, no small feat by any means. 
Okay, so it must be a large entourage folder in there. It must be a large mail folder in there, uh, something sitting in there because it's clearly not your music or your pictures or uh, documents uh, because we deselected them. So that's unusually large, but you know it varies by case. All right, I hope that helps. And we're going to transfer this now. Both computers are plugged in with a power supply. So here they are. And this machine here in the back is basically effectively being used as a hard drive. Uh, this could be, in fact, this could be a hard drive so that you'd get the same results if you would have a um, time machine backup or a super duper clone over there and the computer would uh, treat it the same way. You would have ch just choose a different option. So here we go and that uh, tells us 37 minutes. I hope it'll go down pretty quickly to, to a smaller, to a smaller time, to a shorter time. So, okay, so what we did here, since we transferred already the account, all the information is already there. In this case, not much information was provided, but the account name is already there. So all he has to do is either, you know, just hit the continue button or if wanted, fill out the rest of the information, then the system is ready to go. That's it. Fairly simple.